going to say it one time. No school closures! Oakland is not for sale! No school closures! Oakland is not for sale! No school closures! Oakland is not for sale! So we're here today to announce three big things. One, the filing of a federal lawsuit on behalf of several of us who were injured and beaten by school police that should not exist in Oakland, and we're going to introduce our attorney in a second. We're also going to be talking about the recall effort that is kicking off uh, on school board president Jody London, and we're going to introduce you to some candidates to take over the school board to finally ensure that no more public schools are closed in favor of charter schools. But let's start with our attorney, Dan Siegel, as he needs to go to talk about our federal lawsuit. Great. Okay. Thank you, Saru. Uh, thank you for coming out. and. Sorry to be in a rush, but I have a uh, judge who's going to be on my case if I'm not in his courtroom at 4 o'clock. So anyway, um, thank you again for being here. Uh, my name is Dan Siegel, along with my associate, Emily Rose Johns. We filed a lawsuit in federal court today on behalf of eight parents and educators in the Oakland Unified School District against the Board of Education and its ranking police officers for violation of our clients constitutional rights specifically their constitutional rights to engage in free speech and to engage in public activity without being beat up or injured um, many of you may have noticed that uh, this person standing next to me is on crutches uh, she wasn't on those crutches prior to october 23 when she was uh, beaten and jumped and arrested when she was attempting along with other parents and teachers and children to speak their minds at an open school board meeting about the district's continued closure of schools in Oakland, depriving children of a decent educational opportunities throughout the city. Uh, the board apparently decided it didn't want to hear any more of this, so they set up barricades at a school board meeting, uh, something which is apparently a, a new first and perhaps a new low for the Oakland School District. And when people attempted to uh, push themselves against those barriers and to speak to the board, they were attacked by the police. Um, six people were arrested. Uh, Saru was injured badly. Another one of our clients had a couple of ribs broken, and most of them were roughed up in various ways. So we have again filed this lawsuit today. We will serve it on the Board of Education tomorrow, and we look forward to litigating this case. Thank you. Um, we can allow for questions for Dan. Do you time? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Five minutes if anybody's got a question. So, I mean, is this, the allegation is similar to what was in the claim that was that we filed at the end of last year? Exactly, yes. Uh, basically, we're talking about interference with the rights of free speech and interference with the right not to suffer bodily injury when one is gathering to address uh, one's opinions to a public body. Dan, is there any way we can hear directly from either Amy or Saru or Steve just to get their personal and you're question. about to as soon as I run out of here. <laughs> um, and so I haven't read the, I mean, and the, the remedies you're seeking are damages or uh, injunctions or whatever, both are. We're seeking monetary damages and we're seeking injunctive relief uh, requiring the Board of Education and its police force to uh, cease and desist from this type of behavior. Yes, Mr. Haberfeld, are can I help you? Are the defendants personally named? Are the defendants personally named? Yes, the two uh, ranking officers of the OUSD Police Department, Jeff Godown, the police chief, and Donald Perrier, a police sergeant. How about board members? Board members are not named individually, just as an organization. Thank you so thank much. You. Yes, right. thank you, Dan. Um, we are going to be talking in a minute, even though the board members aren't named individually in the lawsuit, uh, one of them is named on a recall effort that we're about to talk about in a few minutes. But before we do, we thought we'd let you hear from some of the plaintiffs in the lawsuit. Um, Can you tell us about your leg, what happened I will tell leg? you in a minute. I'm going to let some of the other plaintiffs speak first, and then I'll tell you. So I'm going to start with Steve Young. Hi, um, I'm Steve Young. I'm one of the, the plaintiffs in this case. Um, essentially, uh, the... Oh, oh, of course. All right. 
So we have a school board that is that is um, completely averse to any form of dialogue, any form of public voice, any form of public input into the future of what is essentially our children. And all that led to the culmination um, of what happened in October. Uh, since then, I think um, the board have been extremely unrepentant about what happened. They, they've lied a great deal um, and they have um, blamed uh, the victims. And um, so they're definitely going through a, for, for a case of complete, you know, they're definitely completely um, unrepentant as to what, what happened and as to, uh, as to their own part in that. So um, we very much welcome this opportunity to take this to court to uh, get some proper judgment on that. Um, Yes. Uh, how much of it am I allowed to? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Essentially, yes. 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 We're going to be talking more about why we're doing the recall, but it involves yeah. them, call, them calling the cops. Absolutely. Right. They, they, the cops report to the board, mm -hmm. so you can draw your own conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you want to let uh, Tamir speak? And just to reiterate, you know, we were there protesting peacefully. Say your name. Guitars. Uh, Say your name. Pizza. Your name. Oh, sorry. My name is Amy Haruyama, first grade teacher in Oakland Unified. Um, we had no idea what was about to happen. They set up the barricades. They had 15, 20 police officers. Um, and it was just man. And the children experienced this. They saw what happened. Um, people were dragged across the barricade line and arrested. Um, and it was very traumatizing. Interestingly, the next board meeting, there was absolutely no police. And so all the fear that they said that they were afraid of our group, all of a sudden, they're gone. Um, they're still escorting people upstairs, but they are not present at the dais um, in front of the board. So, really, were they really afraid of us? So Amy, real quick question. We saw that video of you being shoved with the baton. What went through your mind when that happened? Any injuries? Honestly, um, you know, I, I don't know if you noticed, but I was kind of to the side, and I didn't even see him coming. So I fell, and when I see video, I saw people's reaction. I thought I tripped on something. I didn't realize I was knocked over, but then I realized my arm was bruised. It was bruised for weeks. Um, I have neck injuries. And I, I didn't really see him coming, so I was shocked when I saw the video. The mic is off, I think. That mic. That mic. That mic's not working now. It needs to be turned on. Hello, my name is Mike Ladd. I'm a, an OUSD parent and an OUSD library volunteer. Um, I felt compelled to step forward that night when I saw my child's uh, elementary school teachers being beaten. Uh, the police dragged me down, uh, had five officers holding me on the ground, put me through a flight hold, and I have to say that is a very effective technique. And in the uh, pain and humiliation of that, the only thing I could think of was that they learned how to do this on our kids. Uh, that this, uh, unconscionable behavior is being performed on our kids um, and I would like to point out that uh, the black organizing project has had has been talking about this for a very long time and I invite you all to take a look at the black organizing projects plan to eliminate police from OUSD schools um, thank you Awesome, thank you, Michael. So in my case, my name is Sarah J. Raman. I'm a parent of two children in an Oakland public school. Uh, we have been fighting after our school was voted to be closed along with many other schools. Our school is on the chopping block along with many other schools here in Oakland because there is a privatizer agenda driven by billionaires, outside billionaires like Michael Bloomberg and Bill Gates. 
and the Waltons to shut down our Oakland public schools and replace them with charters. There has been such a hard-driven agenda that Oakland has become the city with the highest rate of charters in the state of California, and we are here to stop that. And so we formed Oakland Not For Sale collectively, parents, teachers, and students from more than a dozen schools. We protested on October 23rd. They showed up with metal batons and guns and metal barricades. We showed up with our tambourines and guitars. They took me, I'm a small person, threw me to the ground, injured my knee, folded my arm all the way back and issued pain compliance into my shoulder. I had to be taken to the hospital in police custody after the surgeon showed up and said that I had been seriously injured. They cited and released me. And after that, uh, I had to have knee surgery on December 31st uh, for the repair of my ACL, MCL, meniscus, and bone ligaments. Um, it's a six month recovery. It's a massive, very intensive knee surgery and recovery. But more importantly than my knee and then our injuries and then our lawsuit, more important than any of that is that we are now organized as parents, teachers, and students from across the district to demand an end and we are actually going to hold these board members accountable finally for their actions because it has been decades and decades of foul leadership, of corruption, of lies, of misinformation, of inappropriate and totally inept management. And so what we are doing now for the first time in Oakland history is that we are going to get the Oakland School Board President recalled. Yes. We have made it through the first couple of steps. We actually filed our notice of intent. We were able to get a response from Jody London and we were now getting our petitions from the city council, uh, from the city uh, by tomorrow. Tomorrow is the deadline. And so we will be launching our first signature gathering training this weekend and signature gathering will commence in the next week or so. And we want to tell you why we are doing the recall. We are doing the recall because it is time for accountability. It is time for not just Jody London, but for every Oakland School Board president to realize that their actions will not go without consequences. That there will no longer be school closed after school closed after school closed and charters put in their place without consequences. And the consequences aren't just going to happen every four years, they're going to happen every year. If we aren't listened to, this is just the first of many board members who are going to be targeted and recalled. We have already raised $5,000. We have another $5,000 coming to us tomorrow, $10,000 to collect signatures. We only have to collect 9,000 signatures. We are well on our way. We know what we're doing, and believe me, we will succeed. But the other thing about this recall effort is that it's not just about recalling one individual, and that is why we are here with these signs. Recall rebuild and reimagine because we are forming a new school board and a new school district that values public education yes. as the property of the people yes. we are rebuilding and reimagining a school district in which public schools are valued and invested in with resources to invest in teachers and the materials that they need to teach in a high quality fashion. So that's why we're here. We're here in front of Oakland Tech where very high quality teachers have been struggling for a long time under the representation of this school board member, Jody London. And so we are recalling Jody London, but we are rebuilding and reimagining a new district. With these 9,000 signatures, we will be talking to people all over District 1 about what we really need for Oakland Public Schools. And in a minute, you're going to meet those candidates. But I want to invite up here Oakland Tech High School teachers who can tell you why we are here and why we're standing together to change this school board.
Hey everyone, my name is Heath Madame. I'm a teacher here at Oakland Technical High School. I teach 10th grade English as well as an elective class called Law and Society. And so I'm supporting this effort because, uh, like Saru said, we need to have accountability for this school board. Uh, it's become very clear, I think, to all of us that this school board has no interest in listening to what the community wants, which is more investment in schools and no school closures. Uh, we had a strike last year where we were trying to demand more resources for the classroom and we were only able to get what we did by going on strike. The district was initially gonna give us nothing. They wanted to give no wage increases in a city where the cost of housing continues to go up and teachers continue to get pushed out of the area. Uh, by fighting, we were able to win some uh, class size reductions, some increases of salaries, and unfortunately only a short pause on the school closures. But that was a central demand of the strike and it seems as though the board still has not got the message that the community is not in favor of closing schools. We want to see our schools supported, fully funded, and we want to see uh, the kind of uh, resources that we need as teachers to do our job and to edu educate the children of this city. Uh, but this board, it's very clear, is not interested in that. They're interested in privatizing, moving forward with their portfolio model, and so I see this campaign as a great first start to really send a message to the board that we're not going to tolerate this uh, lack of accountability anymore. We're going to hold them accountable, and it starts with by recalling uh, Jody London. Thank you. My name is Deirdre Snyder, and I work at Oakland Tech here for 26 years. I recently retired, and I am one of the people who got arrested and beat up on the 23rd. But I. There are two really important things to say about why we have to do this. And one is from the perspective of being in a classroom, which the district does not understand because they have mismanaged this district for so long. We don't have books. We don't have the materials we need. We don't have the support that the kids need. But it's also that they're constantly pushing testing because they want kids, and they want to test kids on material that they never were taught. And when teachers object to that, downtown says, we just need the data. And what they want data for is to say, oh, by data it says, you guys don't know this stuff, so you're failing, so we're gonna close your school, because that's their new model. They don't see their children as children to be taught. They see them as little pieces of data. And as teachers, we completely reject this. And this is why we have to rebuild and reimagine. What Oakland teachers have been doing for as long as I've been around Oakland is an amazing job of creative teaching with children engaged in projects that are very, very hands-on and participatory. And that is not what the school wants us to be doing. The school board is trying to force us to teach our kids as if they were automatons, and they're not. So this is a really, really important struggle. Could we get, uh, Trey, Trey, could we get uh, flyers for all of the press so that they have the information? So on this flyer, you'll see that we are not just recalling the school board president, we're proposing new amazing candidates for this district and for the city of Oakland. I want to introduce the first candidate, Alicia Johnson. Good afternoon, my name is Alicia Johnson. I'm a mother of two African-American young children working their way through the OUSD public school system. Um, this year we've been able to see the devastating effects that school closures have on our students, on our parents, and on our communities. They rip through it like a fire and destroy. The district has been systematically dismantling our public schools from the inside and privatizing them, and that's evidenced by Kaiser, who they're closing this at the end of May, is now on the list to be taken over by a charter school. That's the next location for a charter. And we will no longer accept business as usual in OUSD. Right. Our parents have been fighting because our schools have been under-resourced and they've been struggling so hard and instead of fighting the people in power who are closing our schools and not giving us the proper funding, they are pitted against each other and saying that school gets more, we're gonna take them over, we're fighting each other instead of the school board who are blaming us. We no longer accept it and that's why 
why I'm running in District 1 so that we can implement our plan to open the financial books. The community needs to be back in charge of the uh, financial situation in Oakland. We need to stop the school closures and privatization and we need to continue to engage our community and show them that Oakland is our future. These kids are our future and it's the best future when the people are in charge. Thank you. This is what we need. We need school board members who will stand up to the billionaire privatizers rather than rolling over to drive their agenda and close our public schools. And so I'm so excited to also introduce Sharice Cash, who is also running for school board in District 3. Thank you. And uh, again, my name is Sharice Cash. I live in District 3, and I'm a parent of an OUSD student. I'm also a native of Oakland, and I'm also a student that also experienced the OUSD school district. And um, the history that I have and the knowledge of raising my son within the school district, we are closing far too many schools. Our students are in desperate need of every single dollar that the state has to provide for them. And I want to make sure as a school board member that these students receive everything that's uh, everything that is due to them. We have two, we have a police unit for OUSDs and we don't need it. That $6.5 million needs to go definitely directly to our students. They want restorative justice. They want all of their libraries in the school district open and functioning. They need resources, they need counselors, they need mentorship, they need those things on site and available to them. We don't need the police department. What we need is everything available and accessible to all of our students. That's who we need to value, that's who is most important for us, and that is who is most important to me. So as a school board member, my value is for the students. So we have some very exciting news. The support for this effort is growing and the Oakland Teachers Association, the Oakland Education Association, has decided to endorse our campaign to recall board president Jody London. We want to introduce a representative of the OEA, Oakland Education Association, Steve Neat. Hi. Um, yeah, I would just add on to what Sauru said. Uh, people are realizing that we can't wait until January next year to have some new school board members in. They've been approving charter schools willy-nilly the last few months. They understand that the tide is turning. The billionaires who've paid off these school board members to be their shills understand that people are starting to understand what charter schools are all about. And they're getting their charters renewed. They're getting them all checked off two, three, four per meeting sometimes for the next five years because they're trying to get that done before the summer when some new laws come into place that'll make it harder. And we know which side they're on and we need to get them out of there now. We can't wait a year. We need to get them out of there as soon as we can. The OEA has contributed, the Oakland Education Association has contributed to our recall campaign. They've endorsed our recall campaign. They've endorsed Open Up for Sales Demands. They are with us and we know the teachers of Oakland are with us. Thank you. So, there has not been a single school board member recalled in the history of the city of Oakland. And watch us make some history right now. Watch us show the district that there will be accountability for the police violence, for the school closures, for rolling over to a privatizer agenda. Watch us show all candidates for November 2020 that they better watch their backs. If they're gonna take money from Go Public Schools and Michael Bloomberg and Bill Gates and the Waltons, they're gonna get out just the same as Jody London. That's right. Because the people are demanding the control over our public schools. The people are demanding that we control our public schools. Who schools? Our schools. Who schools? Our schools. Who's kids? Our kids. Who schools? Our schools. Who's district? Our district. That's right, it's our district and we will recall it. We will rebuild it and we will reimagine it. Thank you.